אני קרושם. It's not a question, but uh, I like to read with you uh, a verse of Chaitanya Charitamrita. We speak about Kama Gayatri Mantra. Uh, there is somebody there can read in English? Read. Yes. Read. Uh, uh, maybe I can read in Italian and somebody there can read the same words in English. Which one? Which, which one? Uh, yes. Uh, Madhya Lila, uh, chapter 21, verse uh, 125. <laughs> Bhakti, come on, Thai. Bene. Rade, Rade, Guru Dev. Rade, Rade, where you are? Is allora, you? Dove sei, dove sei, Bhakti? Sei al lavoro? Sto al lavoro, sto al lavoro, digli. She is a uh, working place. Oh, where is it? Rade, Rade, Guru Dev. Rade, Rade, sta al lavoro. Rade, Rade. <laughs> Come stai? Bene. <laughs> Prashanti, tutto ok? It's ok. Ok? Yes, Prashanti, ok. Happy. Happy? Bene. Yes. Bene. <laughs> Bene. How is Madame Dopa? Hare Hare Gurudev, you're very happy. Yes. Now, now Sh Sh Shama Shama disciple from Krishna Chandra, like to stay next next to my house. She went to her house next to me. Wow. Yes. Yesterday we fixed. Now we have a small example for Bhakti Village in Italy. Wow, very nice. Yes. And we have yeah. such a nice program with Hari Priya. We like to continue with Hari Priya to make more program with Hari Priya and um, Udava. Wow, very good. Very nice. That's amazing. We are very happy for this. Yeah. Yeah. Very happy. Yeah. What you are doing? Yes, you said to put on second. No? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Are are the are the funiam. Funiam is reading. English, you can explain or try to go deep. It's 125, Marilila, chapter 21. Krishna. Oh, sorry, Punyam. Yeah. Ji. Yes. Uh, may I read first in Italian? Yes, yes, please. And then you uh, read in English. Okay. 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 Eh, ho chiesto a Gurudeva di leggere assieme il verso 125 del capitolo 21 della Madhya Lila. Krishna, Dio, la persona suprema, non è differente dall'inno vedico 
conosciuto come Kama Gayatri, composto da 24 sillabe e mezzo. Queste sillabe sono paragonate ad altrettante lune che sorgono in Krishna. Così tutti i tre mondi si riempiono di desiderio. Krishna, the supreme personality of Godhead, is identical with the Vedic hymn known as the Kama Gayatri, which is composed of 24 and a half syllables. Those syllables are compared to moons that arise in Krishna. Thus, all three worlds are filled with desire. Right. Go on. Leggiamo anche il verso successivo che spiega meglio tutte queste lune. Che, eh, il volto di Krishna è il re delle lune e il corpo di Krishna è il suo trono. Il re governa un popolo di lune. So, Punyam, uh, I read also uh, the next one and later... 127 and 128 because they uh, these three verses explain the the moon about uh, the Kama Gayatri mantra all the moon and, uh, and uh, the, this moon is paragonated to uh, 24 and a half syllables. So I already read uh, 126. Read. Okay. Again, no disturbance. You read again? Repeat? Yeah. For 125 also. Yes, yeah. 100 percent. Krishna, the Supreme Personality of Godhead, is identical with the Vedic hymn known as the Kama Gayatri, which is composed of 24 and a half syllables. Those syllables are compared to moons that arise in Krishna. Thus, all three worlds are filled with desire. The face of Krishna is the king of all moons, and the body of Krishna is the throne. Thus, the king governs a society of moons. Krishna has two cheeks that shine like glowing gems. Both are considered full moons. His forehead is considered a half moon and the spot of sandalwood there is considered a full moon. His fingernails are many full moons and they dance on the flute in his hands. Their song is the melody of that flute. His toenails are also many full moons and they dance on the ground. Their song is the jingling of his ankle bells.
further. Okay. Yes. More. This is two hundred twenty-eight. More read. Krishna's face is the enjoyer king. Uh, Krishna's Krishna. face is the enjoyer king. What? Without no one is enjoying. What he enjoy? Enjoyer. Need enjoyed person. Then he can enjoy. No? Alone he will enjoy. My question is a king of enjoy, right? Go on. Krishna's face is the enjoyer king. That full moon face makes the shark-shaped earrings and lotus eyes dance. His eyebrows are like bows, and his eyes are like arrows. His ears are fixed on the string of that bow, and when his eyes spread to his ears, he pierces the hearts of the gopis. Mm -hmm. See that. Go on. The dancing features of his face surpass all other full moons and expand the marketplace of full moons. Mm. Although priceless, the nectar of Krishna's face is distributed to everyone. Mm. Some purchase the moon rays of his sweet smiles and others purchase the nectar of his lips. Thus, he pleases everyone. That's it. More with. Krishna has two reddish, widely spread eyes. These are ministers of the king, and they subdue the pride of Cupid who also has beautiful eyes. That face of Duvinda, which is full of happiness, is the home of the pastimes of beauty and is very pleasing to everyone's eyes. Wow, beauty of pastimes. What we are reading in the Vilakko Sumangiri, past time. Read again. Krishna had two... Brother, I'm sorry to interrupt. I just want to ask, how is the program? Because of the Italian's translation, what we are doing, like, I just came a few minutes later. Okay. I came in a few minutes later. This is the program, the subject. Madhya Lila, chapter 21, verse uh, 125, we started. Yeah. It's about the uh, okay. Kama. So we are reading. We should make translation or? No, no, no. I will take only five minutes to explain the subject. You start with the program. Please, his question. No, no, of course. It's, yeah. yeah. Yeah, yeah, it's okay. I just want to ask for then the you translation explain. if we translate or how it is. Yeah, you will now, when I will say then. Yeah. <coughs> First, I'll okay, okay. After the program. Yeah. And now yeah. we are. Sorry. Okay. 
Krishna. Now we're text 131. Mm -hmm. Krishna has two reddish, widely spread eyes. Mm -hmm. These are ministers of the king, and they subdue the pride of Cupid, who also has beautiful eyes. That face of Govinda. Pride, huh? That face of no, Govinda. No, pride, huh? Subdue the pride of Cupid. Yes, what he do? Subdue the pride of Cupid. Who is Cupid? Krishna is it. Right? And what he do? Subdue. Is pride means what is meaning? Scissor, scissor, subdue yes. the pride of Cupid. What is Sorry. meaning? Subdue the pride of Cupid. Krishna is a Cupid. Krishna subdue. And the pride of Cupid means Krishna pride is subdue. He, he reduced the pride of the Cupid. Krishna. Right? Krishna duše Krishna yeah. Go on. Can we again this? Or? No, no, no. I oh. say that subject point. Mm -hmm. That face of Kubinda, which is full of happiness, is the home of the pastimes of past the time, you know. Pastime. What is pastime? I don't even do pastime. Translate, says her. I say Krishna will okay, be a time. Okay. Translate. Say it. Uh, so the line was cut, Gurda. Sorry. Good. <laughs> Connections. Yeah. It's Madalila chapter twenty one, verse hundred thirty one now. It's a long set. Very deep thing. No. Yeah. <laughs> 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 Now is she there? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I read again? No. Subdue the pride of Kupi. <laughs> He can do pastime alone. So Krishna Sadhem Pirasu. Cutting your room. Sri Radhe. Radhe. Mm -hmm. 
where we try because Wi Fi is not working properly. We just change. Cobra. So that I'm trying to find this. Uh, so somebody stop doing the pride of Cupid. Someone is there. Read again this line. Krishna has two reddish, widely spread eyes. <laughs> These are ministers of the king, and they subdue the pride of Cupid. Ah, who is Cupid? Yeah. So pride of Cupid so is subdued. Yeah, two eyes is there. Who also has beautiful eyes. Huh? Really? They subdue the pride of Cupid, who also has beautiful eyes. Ah, beautiful eyes. If you have be beautiful eyes, then you become manjari. And the pride of pride, the Cupid, she is a Ladani Shakti Radhika, who subdues the pride of Cupid. Go on. That face of Govinda, which is full of happiness, is the home of the pastimes. Pastime, listen that words. Uh -huh. Go on. Good if I just want to add that this uh Translation of the pride of Cupid is Madana Mada. Yeah. So you say more a deep thing, but I say who subdued the pride of the Cupid? It's our, our Swamini, of course. Radhe, Radhe. There is two ways to see. One is the Vedic knowledge. Read the first word, 125. Krishna, the Supreme Personality of Godhead. Ah, who see the Supreme Personality of what? No, first you, Vedic knowledge. Yeah, then it's identical with the Vedic hymn Known as the Kama Gayatri. Oh, that is the Vedic way to see him only Krishna. Is a Veda say like this? Because they cannot enter there. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so that they only explain about the Krishna because the Veda can see only the Supreme Personality of Godhead. Understand? They cannot enter in the pastime of Krishna because they, they, they cannot do that. They cannot know that the, the, this uh, Kamadeva Cupid is subdued there. They cannot understand this. No. Go on. Krishna, the Supreme Personality of Godhead, mm. is identical with the Vedic hymn known as the Kama Gayatri. One thing, one way of knowledge of Kama Gayatri is a Vedic thing. That is also okay. Because he's a supreme lord. But the real meaning is something else also. 
read again this. The Rasika meaning, Guru Now you give us the Rasika meaning. is giving this. But without you, we cannot get it, Guru <laughs> Read again. This is very good subject to understand. Go on, read, read from again. Oh, you have a Suniti in this book? Okay, read this. She can use it, Suniti. Not close it, open yeah. it. I, if you are helping to me. Ah, but I have only one verse here. Krishna has two reddish, widely spread eyes. This one, Gurdi? Two means is a different, 28, 20, 32 or something. First is 31, started, yes. 25, 125. Yes, Krishna, the Supreme Personality of Godhead, is identical with the Vedic hymn known as the Karma Gayatri, you see, which Vedic, is Vedic. Vedic. Yeah, that is. And that is how we learn it, Gurudev. When I got my Karma Gayatri uh, 35 years ago, maybe, then they explained to me it is it is uh, identical with. The Supreme Personality of Godhead. Uh, that is the point. So that is not wrong. But you are looking to Supreme Personality of Godhead, not Brajendra Nandan. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's a Veda thing, philosophy thing. Yes. Go on. So we are back and eh? we'll try because yeah. many Italians are writing. Uh, or... Very good subject because he opened. Yeah. I want to explain it. Please, okay. you go so, on, Punyam, because I have only my handy here, not the full book. Yes, yeah, go on. Krishna, the Supreme Personality of Godhead, is identical with the Vedic hymn known as the Kama Gayatri. Yes, a Vedic hymn. Like it is a supreme Godhead, supreme personality. There is no one there, only supreme personality of Godhead is there. This is also one meaning. If you know him as a supreme Lord, Created not like a Brajendra Nandan. Quindi right. il significato del Kama Gayatri è che Krishna è uguale alla uh, suprema, eh, che il Kama Gayatri è uguale a Krishna nel suo aspetto della suprema personalità di Dio. Quindi è una spiegazione più che va sulla filosofia, che è anche vero ed è quello che dichiarano i, i Veda. Questo è l'aspetto de, del tatua, diciamo, filosofico che il Kamagayatri è Krishna nel suo aspetto di suprema personalità di Dio. This is very right. Ed è giusto. Anche questo è giusto. Second. Known as the Kamagayatri, which is composed of 24 and a half syllables. Giusto. <laughs> <laughs> Questo Kama Gayatri è composto da 24 sillabe e mezzo, giusto? <laughs> Because he's a supreme personality of Godhead and he is almighty and he is controlled by Vedas. Vedas, Vedas can say about supreme personality. Perché lui è la suprema personalità di Dio ed è controllato dai Veda e i Veda possono dichiarare che, che lui lo è. Quindi questo va bene. This is one meaning. Okay. Però questo è soltanto un significato. Go on. Non, non tutti, soltanto una parte. Uh, go on. Those syllables 
are compared to moons that arise in Krishna. Thus, all three worlds are filled with desire. Queste sillabe sono paragonate a delle lune che sorgono in Krishna e quindi tutti i tre mondi sono pieni di desiderio. All three worlds fulfill the desire with the Supreme God. He is asking and he is giving. We are tutti e tre i mondi esadiscono i desideri eh, hanno i, i desideri che, che si esadiscono loro chiedono e vengono esauditi this is his one work we say Amazon <laughs> e questo che tipo di relazione è che tipo di devozione è noi la chiamiamo Amazon che ordini e ti arriva. Claro. Ah, no? Sondera? This is right. E anche questo è giusto. Go on. The face of Krishna is the king of all moons and the body of Krishna is the throne. Thus, the king governs a society of moons. No, things are clear. Without king, alone king, without the society, without his Associate he is what type of king he is. So the moon is the his society. Who can he control that moon? Right? Go on. Quindi qui le lune sono paragonate alla società di eh, alla società di un re, Krishna il re, e il re non può stare da solo. Quindi queste lune sono paragonate alla società che sono insieme a lui. Go on. I read the purple also? Or? No, 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 go on. <coughs> Bangla, you want to read? Better this is very helpful to me. Yes, I can try, but I don't want to. Uh, I can try. To I can read. also speak. I can. I can read the Bangla Gurdiv. Yeah, read. No, I pensavo you. Forgive. Sanda suchikana jini mana sudapana se dui purna chandra jani. Lalate astami indu, tahate chandana bindu, se e kapurna chandra mani. Ba. Go on. Krishna has two cheeks that shine like glowing gems. Krishna, oh. uh, you have to read it slowly because... It's technical, you know, then I cannot translate. You have to read slowly. Start again. Krishna has two cheeks that shine like glowing gems. Krishna ha due guance che, che brillano come due gemme. Both are considered full moons. Ed entrambe sono considerate essere lune piene. One thing I want to say. Krishna, if you see the face, he has two cheeks, right? Se vedete la faccia, la faccia di Krishna ha due guance, giusto? But in direct way, here is mentioned there is two cheeks. Però qui viene menzionato in modo indiretto che ci sono due guance. One is Krishna chick and one is Alladini chick. 
Una è la guancia di Krishna e un'altra è la guancia della Ladini. Its forehead is considered a half moon. La sua fronte è considerata la luna calante. And the spot of sandalwood there is considered a full moon. E la pasta di sandalo che c'è sulla fronte è considerata la luna piena. Sniti, can you sing yeah. again? No, 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 really. No? Really. Okay. His fingernails are many full moons and they dance on the flute in his hands. Le sue unghie delle dita sono come tante lune che danzano eh, con il flauto, col suono del flauto. Their song is the melody of that flute. Le loro canzoni sono le melodie di questo flauto. His toenails are also many full moons. Anche le unghie dei suoi piedi sono tante lune. And they dance on the ground. E danzano nel suolo. Their song is the jingling of his ankle bells. E le loro can le canzoni di queste unghie sono il tintinnio delle cavigliere, delle campanelle. May, may uh, I have a question, Guru Dev. <laughs> Eh, lo dico in italiano così ci ritarda e mi traduce eh, nel verso precedente eh, nel, nel verso 127 la, la luna la, la fronte di Krishna viene paragonata alla mezza sillaba che noi sappiamo on the previous verse the uh, forehead of Krishna was compared to the half syllable. Che noi sappiamo che nel Kama Gayatri Mantra la mezza sillaba sono le Manjari, no? i dodici. You know, in the Kama Gayatri the half syllable is the Manjari. Yes. What is forehead? Che cos'è la fronte? Fortune. Fortuna. <laughs> And his fortune is based on half. half. <laughs> Della sua fortuna è basata su questa mezza sillaba. Questo è il significato. So for head, you see, is the main thing of the human. Se vedete la fronte, è la parte principale del corpo umano. But he's, he's, this is half. Why half? Viene, viene essere descritta la mezza sillaba. Because it depends on half. He is far too sarà fortunato oppure no? Sarà successo nella sua fortuna oppure no? It's all based on half. È tutto basato su questa metà. Dipende tutto da questa metà. This is his fortune in the hand of Mahavi. È la sua fortuna nelle mani delle servitrici, delle mangiari. Right? 
Clear or not? Hmm. Go on. <coughs> Go on. Mm. Yeah, have one question with it. It says, his fingernails are many full moons and they dance on the flute in his hands. Mm. And their song is the melody of that flute. And the song, what is song? Che cos'è la canzone? Che cos'è la melodia? Ask a musician sitting to the... What is song? Without a melody, there is a song? Chiedi a un musicista cos'è la canzone senza la melodia, senza il sentimento, diciamo. La, ci può essere una canzone? He said the word sentiment. Why song is coming? Without sentiment, song coming and melody is coming. Perché viene la canzone? Senza canzone, senza sentimento può manifestarsi una canzone? Why want to play the flute when he's alone? Perché lui vuole suonare il flauto quando è da solo? Which melody he is and which song he is singing? In quale sentimento lui è e quale canzone suona? Who can know this? Who is close sitting near to him? Sai che lo può sapere soltanto chi è, si trova vicino a lui. Right? Go on. Good. It's a prima mix Krishna dance. No, not add anything. Sorry. What is there? Is it that? This is Actually, good. You, have like, you have like the rag, and then you can make one song on based on the rag. Mm -hmm. that is what the, is that? One song you can sing in one mellow. Right. You cannot sing in three mellow one song. <clears throat> Means mellow is a feelings. He has also feeling. He say he also sing it. He also like to give the, his feeling to you. He is in mellow. He sing. He is not a quiet mona. Right? He has many desires, Gurudev. Now uh, Cupid will come. You see. Go on. You see. This is Chetan Chetan Amrita. You have to understand deeply to understand that. Go on. His fingernails are many full moons and they dance on the flute in his hands. Wow. Why? Por qué? Why? What is the reason of this? Perché le sue. Unghie sono molte mune che eh, danzano su, su, sulle, sulle sue mani. Perché? Wow. Their song is the melody of that flute. Ah. Tu mi burghe, a mi burghe, a mamma, a mamma, a mamma, बहुत बिगड़ी है दो तीन दिन पहले अब फिर वहीं पर काम कर हम क्या कह रहे हैं तो समझना चाहिए बीमार आदमी के बारे में ट्रैक करोगे तो सोई कि क्या गुस्से में है निकलने रहे हैं तो ठीक है क्या मतलब देर सॉन्ग इज द मेलोडी ऑफ दैट फ्लूट Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. His toenails are also many full moons and they dance on the ground. Anche le sue unghie dei piedi sono molte lune piene che danzano sul suolo. Their song is the jingling of his ankle bells. Eh, le, canzone, le loro canzoni sono il tintinnio delle campanelline, delle cavigliere. A bell is rhythm. Dov'è il ritmo? 
Song is not become beautiful without rhythm. La canzone non può essere bella senza il ritmo. Krishna's face is the enjoyer king. He's an enjoyer. Try to understand. Fatta di Krishna e il re dei genitori. Why you are enjoying? You are Krishna dance. He's an enjoyer. And we are enjoying to see these things. But Perché he's an enjoyer. Perché noi vogliamo essere il goditori? E lui è il vero goditore e noi dobbiamo eh, godere, gioire nel vedere lui che danza, lui che si diverte. But you are listening, I'm enjoying this. But he's the enjoyer. Right, Suniti? You are no, enjoyer, he's the enjoyer. No, he is the enjoyer, but... Unless we come to our normal position, we will not understand this, Gurudev. That's why, you know, yeah. I think also in this verse, it is said that he gives the desire to the three worlds, Gurudev. He is making the desires in all living entities who want to enjoy like him. Yeah. Yeah, go on. Krishna's face is the enjoyer king. That full moon face with king without empire. If you say king without any person. No, so not still there. Huh? King is there, but he has no empire, no persons in the kingdom. It's possible. What is your king then? Who is the, your 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 man? What do you say? In kingdom, who is the the subjects, Gurudev? Yes. The people. Yeah. <laughs> go on, go on. Now you will see that. That full moon face makes his shark shaped earring and lotus eye stands. Traduco io, c'è il libro sotto mano. Eh, vai, vai, bravo. Perché non c'è il libro, allora qualche parola sfugge, poi. Vai. Okay. Allora, il volto di Krishna è il re che gode. Questo volto di luna fa danzare i suoi orecchini a forma di squalo e i suoi occhi di loto. His eyebrows... What he asking? Something he is asking. What he asking? No, no, he's translating because he has the book, Gurudev. Eh? So yeah, he's yeah. translating. Okay. His eyebrows are like bows and his eyes are like arrows. Le sue sopracciglia sono simili ad archi e i suoi occhi sono frecce. His ears are fixed on the string of that bow. And when his eyes spread to his ears, he pierces the hearts of the gopis. Yeah, you see? The king. Yuri. King. Oh, sorry. Translates Gurude. Gli orecchi sono fissati alla corda di questo arco, e quando gli occhi si tendono verso gli orecchi, Krishna trafigge il cuore delle gopi. Means who is not in Gopi Bhav, he will not understand. <coughs> it, not in the spiritual identification, in the soul identification, he will not relate. You have to come to understand <coughs> that you are the spiritual body, not your spiritual form, that is your sarup, 
that is the real constitution position of reality of not material gross body that is meaning of gopi bhav coloro che non sono nel gopi bhav non possono comprenderlo coloro che sono soltanto nella coscienza dell'anima non possono vedere tutto ciò dobbiamo essere nella nostra coscienza della forma spirituale non nell'identificazione del corpo grosso del, del corpo grossolano in gross body we cannot realize it deep surface nell'identificazione col corpo grossolano non possiamo realizzare questi tipi di argomenti profondi buon the dancing features of his face surpass all other full moons and expand the marketplace of full moons la danza del suo volto supera tutte le altre lune e allarga il mercato delle lune piene okay the dancing features of his face surpass all other full moons and expand the marketplace of full moons wow la danza del suo volto supera tutte le altre lune e allarga il mercato delle lune piene and he is a full moon and he creates the market of the moon So good if maybe it means that his eyes are dancing like it was in the last verse and by his dancing eyes when he is giving the sidelong glances then all the beauty increases and uh, all the gopis are enchanted Gopi is not in a full moon is a ladini shakti a latini shakti is become market of full moon she bring the all full moon wow swamini is in his face good yeah all this is the reality na market of full moon full full market market of full moon right right or not market yes. of full moon is there or not market yes means not one full moon is the market of full moon right or not sundaram is the one right. full moon or market of full moon read that word say me the first sentence gurudev is asking the dancing features of his face surpass all other full moons and expand the marketplace of full moons wow. la danza del suo volto supera tutte le altre lune e allarga il mercato delle lune piene although priceless the nectar of krishna's face is distributed to everyone Mm. Benché inestimabile, il nettare del volto di Krishna è distribuito a tutti. Some purchase the moon rays of his sweet smiles, and others purchase the nectar of his lips. Yeah, yeah. Alcuni acquistano i raggi lunari dei suoi dolci sorrisi e altri il nettare delle sue labbra. Thus he pleases everyone. Wow. In questo modo egli soddisfa tutti. Wow. Krishna has two reddish widely spread eyes 
I rossi occhi di Krishna sono molto grandi. These are ministers of the king and they subdue the pride of Cupid who also has beautiful eyes. My God. <laughs> sono ministri del re e dominano l'orgoglio di Cupido dotato anche lui di occhi leggiadri. Understand them? So let me explain this. Two no, eyes. Buddha, I, I have no realization. You must, you must two, help us, Buddha. Two eyes, maybe you, we think that Krishna has two eyes. And I say two eyes. Read that line. Two eyes. There are two eyes. Sridhar eyes and Prashantvai eyes. There is two eyes. And Krishna has also two Sridhar has also two eyes. But here you listen. Two eyes. Krishna has two reddish, widely spread eyes. Yeah. Because one is Antaranga Sakti eyes and one is his ex natural eyes. Yeah, Krishna. Antaranga Sakti is Aladini eyes and his eyes. Go on. These are ministers of the king and they subdue the pride of Cupid. You see, trans English, Italian. Questi occhi sono i ministri del re e dominano l'orgoglio di Cupido, dotato anche lui di occhi leggiadri. Who is the Cupid? My Cupid. chiede Gurudev. Who is the Cupid? Krishna is Cupid. And he subdued. Other eyes is subduing him. Sridhar, per favore, traduci. E, e ci sono altri occhi che lo controllano, perché se Krishna è lui il cupido, e qui viene scritto che i suoi occhi dominano il cupido, se però Krishna è cupido, allora in realtà significa che ci sono degli altri occhi che lo controllano. You know what is Parkia Bhav? The things are there, but so hiddenly that we have to understand, you need that mood to understand. That is Parkia. To understand in that feeling, then you understand. You have to be gopi to understand. Parakya Bhav significa che le cose sono. Eh, descritte però quelle cose che sono descritte in realtà poi ci sono altri significati non sono così come sono a livello letterale uno deve avere quel tipo di move, mood deve avere gli occhi per poter capire per poter vedere cosa in realtà c'è dietro a quello che c'è scritto Krishna is the supreme lord his eyes is supreme and who can subdue him Which power is subduing him? Krishna is the Supreme. His eyes are the Supreme. But there are other eyes that can control him, that can also control his eyes. What kind of power is this? That he can control him. Krishna has eyes. 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 That is to be researched, and that has to search who can subdue my Krishna. Dobbiamo ricercare chi è che può controllare il mio Krishna. Go on. These are ministers of the king and they subdue the pride of Cupid, who also has beautiful eyes. Wow. Beautiful eyes, two eyes, beautiful eyes. Understand? That is two eyes of Krishna, 
and one is a beautiful eyes who wakes up dear to Krishna. I'm not uh, uh, misguiding all of you. If you right meaning, you understand, okay or not? Is right or clear or not? Saying that the book is written, that these two eyes are like moon. So. Two eyes is there. You one person can understand Krishna has a two eyes. But who knows about Alladani, he see the two eyes means one is his eyes, one is her eyes. Vengono descritti gli occhi di Krishna e quindi ok, ci sono questi occhi che vengono descritti. Però chi conosce la Ladini Shakti, chi ha preso rifugio, chi è cosciente della Ladini Shakti, in realtà può capire che qui non ci sono solo gli occhi di Krishna, ma ci sono anche gli occhi della Ladini Shakti che lo guardano. Hare Krishna and his energy is not different, is a one. But that is true too. One is Krishna and one is his energy. Allah. La sua energia in realtà non sono differenti, sono uno. So, però allo stesso modo anche sono due. Qui uno è Krishna, uno è la sua energia. La Ladini. Right? First we see the person and then we know the energy of that person. La prima cosa noi guardiamo una persona e dopodiché possiamo vedere anche qual è la sua energia. Clear? No good, it's not clear to me yet. What? Because you say it's the two eyes of Krishna. We can say that uh, one is Radhika or Ladini and one is Krishna. But then who, who are the two eyes of Cupid? I, in one sentence, you also said it's Swamini. Swamini and Aladini is no different. <laughs> and Madana Mada, Gurudev, what is Madana Mada? Is that Swamini, the pride of Cupid, Madana Mada? It's maddening him, no? his eyes. That's the point. It's maddening her, yes. That is, the read that. Read. Not we come to that point. First, we have to understand there is two personality there. Yes, Cupid and Krishna. Yes. No, Cupid and Sakti are energy. Two eyes are there. Krishna has a Cupid. He is a Cupid. He is a Kamadev. He is Kamadev, yes. So Cupid is Kamadeva, he is the real Kamadeva. Kamadeva, lui Kamadeva sarebbe Cupido, quindi dice lui è il vero Kamadeva, il vero Cupido. Quindi quando prima... And Cupid is Kamadeva. Gli occhi guardano e controllano anche Cupido. Allora lì sembra che dice che gli occhi di Krishna controllano Cupido, ma Krishna è il Cupido principale, quindi in realtà significa che altri occhi... <laughs> Before, good, if I always understood it like this, that Krishna is more beautiful than Kamadev because there's this material Kamadev and the Krishna. So no, no, no. that, no? Is, no, no, no. That is real Kamadeva is Krishna. Yes, the original. But, but we are in material world. We are searching Kamadeva and that is material Kamadeva. And there is also Rati who bring us to the material enjoyment and one is the real Kamadeva who is the Krishna Kamadeva. Say, I come and say, what is your realization? Take my figure, yeah. So, Gurudev, before told, what is Vedic way to see mantra? And yeah. Others 
but the stress collection is given. Very quick is many cupid here, material cupid. But Krishna is, uh, how to say, charm all way, means he is a victory. But other way is Rasik, but he is, even he is most king of cupids, he is charmed by someone else. He is internal energy and Dharanga Shakti. She is looking at him and he, he is become Ananga. So what is that? Cupid is two Cupid, no? Mm. One is a material Cupid. We are asking this question. And mm. one no, who is the Cupid also. He is the Kamadeva. He is the enjoyer. Kamadeva is the enjoyer. Mm. And Rati is enjoyed by Kama. Sri Guru Chatame Rati. Why Rati? This is one is a spiritual Rati. One is a material rati. Oh, when we are in the gross body, we such karma for my sense enjoyment. And when mm. we are in the spiritual body identification, in my constitutional position, we see Krishna come there. Yeah, he is a comedy. He is the real enjoyer. Mm -hmm. Yeah, go on. Oh, sorry. Now you cannot stop it. You mm -hmm. have to complete it. Yeah, we have time. No problem. Yeah, go on. Krishna has two reddish, widely spread eyes. These are ministers of the king, and they subdue the pride of Cupid, who also has beautiful eyes. Wow. That the clear or not? <laughs> Read in Italian. Read in Italian. I bring the point. I rossi occhi di Krishna sono molto grandi. Sono ministri del re e dominano l'orgoglio di Cupido, dotato anche lui di occhi leggiadri. Non posso distinguere che l'occhio. <laughs> it's Guru Kripa. I don't know, but Gurudev is telling I share. Guru mi si ricorda del Guru. Io in realtà non so tutte queste cose, però Guru Dev me le dice e io le condivido con voi. That face of Govinda, which is full of happiness is the home of the pastimes of beauty. Yeah. And home of the pastimes. If you want to come from the lusty material desire, only live in the pastime of Krishna in Vrindavan. His pastime only happened in Vrindavan. Se vuoi uscire da tutti i desideri materiali lussuriosi, allora devi vivere nella coscienza dei passatempi di Krishna Vrindavana, perché in realtà i passatempi di Krishna, Rajendra Nandan, si svolgono soltanto a Vrindavana. It's cutting. Put it down. No, it's not cutting. It's good. I might have. Mm. Pull it down. Wow, good if. Not I think yeah that is the two the two two different eyes if we see ma with material eyes we are in the cupid we want to enjoy but if we come to the gopi bath or to the dasi bath then we see always in kama gayatri our swamini and her mohan yeah <coughs> And then the question comes, who is subdued by whom? But that is always different, subdued according to the leader. Yes. 
Kama is subdued. This is Kama, a, yes. Ma uh, material uh, last. Philosophy. Kama is subdued. Yes. This Krishna is subdued. Either I Come here, he will sit there. Yeah. Wonderful, sit. thank you, Gurudev. Really amazing because I never I never understood this with the two persons, the yeah. Cupid and with Krishna. Yeah. Yeah. Give to him, really. Gopina. Give to him this one. Yes. Uh -huh. Good to see you there in Italy. We are so happy. You're all together. It's so great. So nice, take care to Italian devotees. Yes, for the, the face of Govinda, right? Mm. Which is full of happiness, is the home of the pastimes of beauty, and it is very pleasing to everyone's eyes. Il volto di Govinda. Pieno di felicità è la dimora dei giochi della bellezza e affascina gli occhi di tutti. Next uh, text. Yandra punya punja fale se mukha darshana mile dui anki ki koribe pone Dviguna bode trishna lobha pite nore mana kshoba duke kore vidira nindane. If by devotional service one gets the result of pious activities and sees Lord Krishna's face, what can he relish with only two eyes? Se, grazie al servizio devozionale, si ottengono i risultati delle attività virtuose e si contempla il volto di Sri Krishna, si può assaporare il Signore coi propri occhi. No, I missing. No, Gurda, this was not. His greed and thirst increase twofold by seeing the nectarian face of Krishna. Nella contemplazione del volto nettario di Krishna, l'avidità e, e la sete raddoppiano. Due to his inability to sufficiently drink that nectar, he becomes very unhappy and criticizes the Creator for not having given more than two eyes. L'incapacità di bere questo nettare fino alla completa soddisfazione rende infelici e porta a criticare il Creatore che ci ha dotati soltanto di due occhi. Well, Gord, if this is the Gopi buff now. This is Radharani praying or? No, not Gopi. Okay. Go on. Next uh, verse. English, okay. When the onlooker of Krishna's face becomes dissatisfied in this way, he thinks. Quando la persona che contempla il volto di Krishna sente questa insoddisfazione, pensa. He thinks. 
Why didn't the Creator give me thousands and millions of eyes? Why has He given me only two? Perché il Creatore non mi ha dato migliaia e milioni di occhi? Perché me ne ha dati solo due? Even these two eyes are disturbed by blinking, which keeps me from continuously seeing Krishna's face. E per di più questi occhi sono disturbati dal battito delle palpebre che mi impediscono di guardare con costantemente il volto di Krishna. Thus one accuses the creator of being dry and tasteless due to engaging in severe austerities. Così accusa il creatore di essere arido e senza cuore a causa delle molte austerità compiute. The creator is only a dry manufacturer. He does not know how to create and set things in their proper places. Il creatore non è che un arido costruttore, non sa creare e sistemare ogni cosa nel luogo appropriato. The Creator says, let those who will see Krishna's beautiful face have two eyes. Il Creatore dice, diamo due occhi a coloro che guarderanno il bellissimo volto di Krishna. Just see the lack of consideration exhibited by this person posing as a creator. Nota la sconsideratezza di colui che si atteggia a creatore. If the creator took my advice, he would give millions of eyes to the person who, it, who intends to see Sri Krishna's face. Se avesse accettato il mio consiglio avrebbe dato milioni di occhi alle persone che vogliono guardare il volto di Sri Krishna. If the creator will accept this advice, then I would say that he is competent in his work. Se il creatore seguisse questo consiglio potrei dire che è competente nel suo lavoro. The transcendental form of Lord Sri Krishna is compared to an ocean. La forma trascendentale di Sri Krishna è paragonata a un oceano. A particularly extraordinary vision is the moon above that ocean, Sri Krishna's face, and an even more extraordinary vision is his smile which is sweeter than sweet and is like shining beams of moonlight. La vista della luna sull'oceano è particolarmente affascinante e così anche il suo sorriso che è tanto dolce da superare ogni altra dolcezza e splende come i raggi della luna. While speaking of these things with Sanatana Goswami, Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu began to remember one thing after another. Moving his hands in ecstasy, he recited a verse. Così i ricordi si affollavano alla mente di Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu mentre parlava con Sanatana Goswami. Muovendo le mani nell'estasi, recitò un verso. O oh my Lord, the transcendental body of Krishna is very sweet and his face is even sweeter than his body. But his soft smile, which has the fragrance of honey, 
is sweeter still. Mio Signore, il corpo trascendentale di Krishna è un tesoro di dolcezza e il suo volto è ancora più dolce del suo corpo, ma più dolce ancora è il tenero sorriso sul suo volto che ha la fragranza del miele. My dear Sanatan, the sweetness of Krishna's personality is just like an ocean of ambrosia. Mio caro Sanatana, la dolcezza della personalità di Krishna è come un oceano di ambrosia. Although my mind is now afflicted by convulsive diseases and I wish to drink that entire ocean, what disease? Convulsive. Benché ora la mia mente sia addormentata dalle convulsioni e desideri bere tutto questo oceano, il Sai. medico crudele non mi permette di assaggiarne neppure una goccia. This is not my good. I will not use my mood in this way. Shaking, sir. What is a disease, mental disease? Our, our nature to ping pong. This is shaking. Ping pong. We want to go in the sky bow, not desire. Now I explain you. This is one disease. We have a shaking from jumping out from the spiritual to material. Immediately. This is ping pong also. One game of ping pong. Sometime here, sometime there, sometime here, sometime there. This is disease here mentioned. Shaking disease. Parkinson. <laughs> Second thing, Sanatan Goswami named Vaikam, Mahaprabhu named Vaikam. Mahaprabhu is Radha. And Mahaprabhu give, only come to give us Radha Dasi Bhakti. Mahaprabhu è Radha e lui è venuto soltanto per diffondere il Radha Dhatyam. Or this Sanatan Goswami name, the disciple of Mahaprabhu, follower of Mahaprabhu, without someone, the relation of Ishtadev is not working anymore. E qui Sanatan Goswami ci insegna che un seguace di Mahaprabhu, che senza... Sambanda Gyan, senza la conoscenza di qual è la nostra relazione eterna, non funziona niente. And the desire of the gopis, the devotee, devotee name, but is a gopi, who, who is not satisfied with his two eyes, and he is blaming to the creator, That why you give the blinking in my eyes. I want to always see Krishna. E le gopi, i devoti, condannano il creatore a Krishna perché gli, nel sospetto di creatore gli dicono perché mi hai creato in questo modo con questi due occhi che devo battere le ciglia. Io voglio gli occhi che possono rimanere sempre aperti così possono vedere sempre a te perché mi hai creato in questo modo I want to see you only I want to see you my Istadev because of Samanda I want only to see you why my eyes is blinking 
dato che io sono fisso nella mia relazione, voglio soltanto vedere te, mia Istadeva, perché le mie ci abbattono, perché chiudo gli occhi? Io voglio vedere soltanto te. And other can say devotee are gopi what you like to say. She said that all my poor is why not become eyes to see Krishna. E queste gopi poi si lamentano e dicono perché i pori della mia pelle non diventano tutti occhi così che posso vedere con tutti questi occhi a Krishna. So what is this intense love for Krishna, right? Quindi cos'è questo? Un amore intenso per Krishna, giusto? So this love and devotion we have to learn or we have to become Krishna. Quindi dobbiamo imparare questo amore, questa devozione. What is my goal? Qual è il mio obiettivo? <laughs> my goal to love like a gopi or devotee like they are trying to buy the, the creator make my two eyes with blinking. Why not I can see all the time? This is higher thing to do or that is a higher thing to do, to be a god. I have to do something. What to do? What I have to decide to do? Cosa voglio diventare? Cosa voglio fare? Dove voglio arrivare? Voglio essere come una gopi, come uno di questi devoti che si lamentano continuamente perché i loro occhi si chiudono, battono le ciglia e quindi non possono vedere costantemente eh, il Signore in una relazione ben definita oppure voglio diventare come Dio stesso. Cos'è quello che voglio fare? Ci sono un, un, un devoto che dice che io voglio che tutti i miei pori della mia pelle diventano occhi per poter vedere la mia vista deva. This is the example. Per vedere okay. Krishna. Questo è l'esempio della vita. We want to be a God. Vogliamo essere un, dev- un devoto di questo calibro o vogliamo essere come Dio? Where to follow? We have Cosa to dobbiamo seguire? Dobbiamo seguire le gopi che hanno questo tipo di desiderio. To learn and to practice this. Per impararlo e per praticarlo. Then we are Soltanto dopo di ciò allora potremmo essere devoti. That's e questo è quello che piace a Krishna. And my Guru Manjari like similarly if you become Radha Dasi and you fix yourself in relation with Radha Rani. E la mia Guru Manjari diventa felice quando noi diventiamo una Radha Dasi e fissiamo il nostro servizio, la nostra relazione con Radha Rani. When you, you are take shelter of Radhika, you will never forget what she is meditating for Krishna, because she is always with meditation of Krishna. So by one thing doing, Radha Dasi, you get two things. One is devotion, one is Krishna. E diventando una Radha Dasi, prendendo il rifugio in Radhika, allora saremo sempre assorti nella meditazione che radica a verso di Krishna. Quindi otterremo due cose, una è la devozione e l'altra è Krishna.
perché Radharani medita soltanto e sempre su Krishna. At the same time, with small effort, big achievement. Con un piccolo sforzo, un grande risultato. And you do Krishna devotion in a bad way, you only know Krishna outside. But you invece... don't have Krishna. Se facciamo la devozione a Krishna nel modo vedico, allora potremmo conoscerlo soltanto nel suo aspetto supremo, da fuori, non interno anche della sua energia. Then you not know that Krishna, or Krishna is energy. Without energy, there is what is the meaning of Krishna? Krishna and his energy both are one. Quindi non conosceremo a fondo Krishna, ma soltanto il suo aspetto esterno. Non conosceremo la sua energia, però in realtà Krishna, l'energia è anche parte di Krishna, quindi per conoscerlo davvero a fondo dobbiamo conoscere anche la sua energia. Right. So why not have the energy of Krishna, that Krishna is always with you? You don't understand this small thing? Quindi perché prendere rifugio nell'energia di Krishna, così che poi Krishna sarà sempre con te, perché sono solo uno. Non possiamo capirlo? Sì. Ai, ai. Radhe Radhe Andar Aie Kundi Nahi Lagi Rati Kundi Rati So understand Without Hum Kat Class De Rai World Vice Class Okay, okay So without understanding energy of Krishna, you don't understand Krishna, yeah? Senza l'energia di Krishna non potremo realmente comprendere Krishna. Oh, Guru, the one question. Shamal, one question. Radhe, Radhe. Yeah. No. Guru, the only something that I cannot understand is how can we desire to see Radha, to stay with Radha, to serve Radha, if we never met her, if we had any, if we never met Somebody, how can I desire to stay with him? Domanda, eh, Shamal chiede, come possiamo eh, desiderare di servire Radarani, di stare insieme a lei se non l'abbiamo mai incontrata? Come possiamo desiderare di essere con una persona se non ci siamo mai stati prima, se non l'abbiamo mai incontrata? I also have the same question. <laughs> Anche io ho questa domanda. <laughs> My grandmother said, take Gurudev, take Diksha from Gurudev. I said, I don't believe Guru. Anche io avevo questa domanda. Allora la chiese a mia nonna e mia nonna mi disse, devi prendere rifugio nel Guru, devi prendere Diksha dal Guru. Gurudev mi disse, non credo al Guru. Then I said, I don't believe Krishna. You say Radha, I say, don't believe Krishna. He's very, very 
very very heavy person. He is not good. He gives so much torture to Pallad and he no no help him. I don't Cosa like it. A riguardo di Radharani, io allora chiesi a riguardo di Krishna e dissi che non volevo sapere niente di Krishna, me ne fregava somebody niente perché. Somebody throw him from mountain. Where is the God? I don't believe God. Sarebbe il Pradmaraj, lui ha dato così tanta tortura a Pradmaraj, lo prendevano, lanciavano dalle montagne, lo torturavano col fuoco e lui non appariva mai, non lo aiutava mai Pradmaraj, quindi ero arrabbiato, dicevo ma sto Krishna non ci voglia avere niente a che fare. I don't see Krishna, how I will believe Krishna? Io non, non lo vedo perché non aiuta a Pralate, quindi come posso crederci se non lo vedo? It's very much coward is there. She understand not to say to me, he say, what again I come after one month? I said, Daddy, I want to chant Japa. He said, yeah. yeah. I do. Lei capito, ma non disse niente. Dopo un mesetto ritornai da lei e dissi, voglio cantare il Japa. Nonna, voglio Because cantare quello. At this. So I said, no, Krishna first. Hare Ram, Hare Ram, I will chant. <laughs> eh, però io dissi, canto col Japa, ma non è che canto prima il mantra con Krishna, perché Krishna mi stava antipatico, quindi canterò Hare Ram, Hare Ram, Hare Ram, Hare Ram, Hare Hare, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, 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 Hare Hare. It's okay, no problem. Well, lei mi disse, no problema. My grandmother, yeah. the devotee of Mahaprabhu, he said he do it. Era una grande devota di Mahaprabhu, mi disse, vai, fallo. Really e feci così per davvero. E lentamente tutto si aprì, tutto si risolse dentro di me. Tutti i miei dubbi vennero chiariti, cominciando a cantare Ceto Darpana, lo specchio dentro di me diventò completamente pulito e tutte le mie coperture vennero rimosse. Ma è so powerful that he needs little chance to capture and cover us to suffer in material. Ma è così potente che c'è bisogno soltanto di una piccola opportunità per poterci catturare e farci soffrire nel mondo materiale. Sorry, I took so much time out today because I have to complete this karma guide. I bring to the soul what is the devotion makes you to realization of everything without Devotion, devotional practice and trying to take shelter, believe in the words of the God and follow that. Guru, we we'll believe the words of Guru Dev. Like a mother, the Guru is like a mother. He say your father, mother say my, your, he is your father. How you believe the word of mother that he is my father? Mother knows that he is not your father and he say your father. And you believe mother word. Mother knows who is your father, right or not? But we yes. believe and start loving to father. Explain. Is a real guru like this? You have to believe it. Scusate, ma oggi ho occupato un po' il tempo extra, ma volevo spiegare riguardo finire il discorso, il verso, la lettura che stiamo facendo sul Kamma Gayatri e su come questo ci aiuta nella devozione e sul credere alle parole del guru. Il guru è come la madre, 
quando noi siamo bambini piccoli è nostra madre che ci dice chi è nostro padre a prescindere dal fatto che quello sia davvero mio padre oppure no se mia madre mi dice quello è tuo padre io lo accetto come padre io lo amo quindi le credo ciecamente allo stesso modo dobbiamo credere ciecamente alle parole del guru Yeah, that's right. Today is the...